Hi, I'm Pro Sax Off and it's Jamie Anderson and you're watching Get Your Sax Together. I sax up your Sunday every week with free online saxophone lessons, bringing you great technique tips, advice on how to sound more pro and breakdowns of your favorite sax solos. Today, you're gonna learn one of the biggest ever sax riffs in dance music, and that's the iconic hook from Calabria by Rune. I've been neglecting the dance music heads out there recently, so I thought it's time to cover one of the most simple but most famous and ubiquitous sax riffs in DJ culture from the last 18 years. I couldn't find out who the original saxophonist is in this one, so if you know, please let me know in the comments. But it might even just be a sample CD, you never know. I'll tell you what, this riff's had an epic story arc. If you look through Spotify for the track Calabria, you'll find endless mashups, remixes, and alternative versions. But it all started with the original track by Rune called Calabria in 2003. In 2006, Destination Calabria came out. This was a mashup with the riff pitched down a semitone and it got released under the artist name Alex Gaudino featuring Crystal Waters. The year after, in 2007, the riff appeared again on another rework of the tune by Inur featuring Nastasia and Mims, this time back in the original key of concert E flat minor. And since then, there's been a non stop stream of reworks and remixes, including the famous Firebeats remix in 2014. This one will be simple to play for beginners on sax, and if you happen to play out live with DJs, this is a great one to throw over almost anything in a minor key. If you like these Hall of Fame breakdown videos, go to the card linked above now, where you'll find a ton of other iconic sax sellers, and hit the link in the description to get your free PDF transcription for Calabria, written for alto and tenor sax. You'll also find a link in the description for my free one hour saxophone success masterclass. This one's dead simple, and it's only got five notes. I'm teaching it to you in the original key of concert E flat minor, as I reckon that's the closest key to the original performance. The barkiness of it suggests a low C on alto to me, but if you want to play it in the destination Calabria key of concert D minor, then I've written that out as well in the free PDF. I've included the fingerings and note names as usual, so just slow it down to the speed you want as you learn it. In case you don't already know how to slow videos down on YouTube, here's how you do it. If you're watching YouTube on your desktop computer, go to the settings cogwheel and then select playback speed, and then finally select the speed that you'd like to play it back. If you're on mobile, touch the screen, go to the three dots in the top right hand corner, and then select playback speed, and again, select the speed that you'd like to practice at. So now you know how to slow things down, here's the solo at full speed. After I've played it, I'll let the backing track run for you to practice with. The riff just loops around. Have fun. That's it for this week, guys. A nice, simple, but iconic hook to get under your belt. Sometimes it doesn't have to be fancy to be effective. You can just sit on this riff and groove it till the cows come home. Hey, thank you so much if you bought me a coffee using the link in the description. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out my free one hour saxophone success masterclass as well. Next week, you'll be learning the best hand and body position to improve your technique. And until then, practice hard, Practice smart and as always, enjoy your music. See you later.